Hello, my name is Monique Gray Smith, and I'm the author of Tilly, A Story of Hope and Resilience. Tilly, A Story of Hope and Resilience is loosely based on my life as a young Indigenous woman growing up in Canada, and how I, I and Tilly started to drink alcohol at 11 years of age. And the story unfolds and tells about our history as Indigenous people in this country through the characters that come to Tilly to help her realize how strong she is, how resilient she is, and to remind her of the deep hope that is within all of us, and that at times though we need somebody to foster that hope so that we can live the life that we were meant to live. When I first moved to North America, I was completely unaware of the true history of the Aboriginal people. And through knowing Monique, I have a completely new and revolutionary understanding of what it means to be Aboriginal in Canada and how recent and how devastating the abuse that these peoples have suffered are. As I read about Tilly, I feel a lot of empathy because I can see how it feels to grow up and feel different and feel without anchor. I floated around looking for belonging and looking to um, to claim my space and that's what I see Tilly doing in her journey is learning to accept who she is, how she is and to claim her space and stand up and uh, be proud. There are characters like Saul who came to my bedside early in the morning who had a story for me to tell that wasn't my story but they wouldn't he would not leave my bedside almost in that dreamlike state and in a mystical way he became real within the story and he told me about that experience of being in the hospital that his experience was gentler than many who have survived the tuberculosis hospitals and that as a result of lying there in that hospital bed and counting the tiles and that incredible nurse who was empathic and compassionate towards him he today is an accountant in his community. So there were characters like Saul who came, who tell the universal stories within our communities of Indian day hospitals, of the day schools, of the 60 scoop, and of our residential school history. These characters are our stories in this country today that are beginning to unfold beautifully so that people understand this history. And the characters who came to me, whether they actually came and sat beside me on a plane, like Bay Street Dan, or they came in that mystical realm like Saul, they came to tell a story through me. And I feel incredibly privileged and blessed to have been the conduit for that. Because in many ways, this book came very, very fast. I often say to people, I felt like the book wrote me. Because there was times I'd sit at the typewriter or my laptop and I, I could hardly keep up with my fingers as the story unfolded. And I think that part of that is because these are stories waiting to be heard, not necessarily from me, but from all Indigenous writers. In Tilly, A Story of Hope and Resilience, one of the chapters is called Dragonflies, Gatekeepers to the Dream World. And I've been taught that the dragonflies, that they symbol that for us, that they open almost a magical door to the dream world. Either that we will dream in the evening or that if we sit quietly that we can dream perhaps a new future for ourselves. That within almost all of our indigenous uh, nations within this country, the dragonfly has different meanings. And one day I was walking through Granville Island and went into the, one of the shops and I found this incredible art card by an emerging young Aboriginal female artist, Coast Salish woman, and her name is Simone Diamond. And I loved the dragonflies on here, and she was using different colors for dragonflies. Usually we see purples and reds, but this time she chose like a chocolate brown and a robin's egg blue. And I loved that on these dragonflies. And then I turned the card over, and what she had written was, Transforming Spirits. Dragonflies represent life's constant process of transformation and renewal. And in many ways, that's how I see this book, is that through Tilly's life and through the lives of the characters who she shares with you, that it inspires all of us to reflect on our own transformation and the possibility of renewal at each turn within our lives.